I wanted to uh, do something uh, that I don't usually do on this channel. Um, I wanted to review this DVD uh, that the WWE put out uh, almost a month ago about um, the late great Owen Hart. It's called Owen Heart of Gold. Um, I got it the day it came out and I watched it then and I just watched it again uh, to do this review. Um, the uh, documentary part is uh, it's really good, um, but it, it seemed too rushed, I guess. It seemed just way rushed, and uh, there were so many restrictions on them because of his wife, uh, Martha Hart, and um, I don't know, but I, I felt like I, I, I um, you know, learned more about Owen and uh, the type of person he was than uh, her book that she wrote, um, which uh, only gave five chapters to his life and the rest of the book was about his death and the aftermath and it left me feeling very depressed, that book. Um, but this DVD did not uh, leave me feeling depressed or sad, it actually put me in a good mood um, because uh, I, I loved Owen, okay, I'm just going to say this right from the start, I grew up with uh, Owen Hart and Bret Hart, um, they were my favorite wrestlers. Um, I've been a wrestling fan since uh, the uh, late 80s till about uh, 2007 when the um, unspeakable man did the unthinkable. Um, I won't even go there, but I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm not a fan of the current stuff, because uh, just, I just think it's crap, WWE has turned to shit. and. Um, but I, I do buy the DVDs if they put out one that I, uh, I like, like Owen, and, um, his brother Brett called this DVD the shits, which I don't agree with, I don't think it's that shitty, but due to the such restrictions, you know, there was only so much they could do, and that's really what kind of made it I guess feel so rushed, and it left me wanting more, to be honest with you. Um, they talked about, you know, they opened it up with, you know, the kind of guy he was and how funny he was and, uh, you know, how nice he was and the whole thing. It was all these different, uh, pranks that he used to pull and, uh, I don't know. Uh, it was, it was good. But it was, like I said, it was rushed. There was always so limited stuff they could do and show and, um, I don't know. Um... The matches were really good because, you know, I, I haven't seen a bad Owen Hart match yet. Um, seen a couple bad Brett matches, though, <laughs> but uh, I haven't seen one bad Owen match yet. And, um, you know, I just wish they wouldn't have put um, the Blue Blazer matches on there. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I, they could have put like high energy matches or new foundation matches on there instead of the blue blazer matches because uh... you know blue blazer just is just bad because of uh... how he died and everything but um... yeah i feel really lucky to have grown up watching this guy and his brother and um... he was definitely the, the best wrestler you know, that the WWE probably had, and the, the WWE didn't know what to uh, really do with him, which is a shame. I mean, they stuck him with all these stupid gimmicks uh, later in his career, which... It was, used, it was just pointless. The way he died was unnecessary, and he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have died, and... You know, as an Owen fan, you know, I'll always love and miss him. Um, I hope the WWE does more DVDs on him, um, just to fill it with matches if you don't want to do another documentary, um, like they did with the Bret Hart Dungeon Collection, you know, just fill three disc with matches, that would be, uh, that would be great, because he was such an amazing wrestler and performer and, you know, whatever, um, yeah, it was a pretty good DVD, I recommend it, um, 
Sorry, this is so unusual. A lot of people don't know that I'm a wrestling fan. Um, but I'm not really a wrestling fan anymore. Um, but I just wanted to uh, review this DVD. Anyway, go pick it up if you haven't. Um, thanks for watching.